Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Salt and Sacrifice. Um, today, no particular surprises to open the episode with. Um, I did go ahead and hunt the uh, hunt the Bibliomancer, which turned out to be quite the ordeal. Um, he was actually ranked 19, making him, I believe, the highest level mage I have, I've fought so far. And while he didn't have one of those summoned pets that made him extra strong, um, he didn't need that because any of his big attacks was enough to one-shot me as, without any buffs. And, um, yeah, he did that a lot. Um, not, I didn't even try to count, but he must have killed me a, do a dozen times. Um, and, unfortunately, the, the run back to him was... Why not super long in the end? The hunt wasn't very long and the run back in the end not that long, but pretty annoying. Uh, we'll see if I ever have a reason to return uh, over to the uh, the Temple of Ember, or Ember Temple? Temple of Ember, right? I think that's what, what the area was called. Um, I might uh, point out the place, but yeah. Um, there were just a bunch of enemies in the way that I had to deal with for the most part, because otherwise they would have just stopped me and, you know, sniped me all the, along the way. Uh, so that was just a little bit annoying and, you know, definitely set my enthusiasm for running back every single time after very often getting just one shot, basically immediately. Um, so in, in the end I got him by just absolutely burning him with all the damage I could, uh, using this this weapon for the time being, again, um, you know, the, the newly upgraded to highest rank Stormglaive, even though it's slightly less damage than... Uh, than the the Tomb Tenders Vulge with uh, the dark buff, but um, yeah, this one has the you know obvious advantage of being able to open the fight with uh, a combo basically of of the spell and then the buff, which also adds an extra damage, and that's usually enough I found to to just uh, immediately uh, stun a mage, uh, hitting hitting them with both of those. If that doesn't work, then just attacking once or twice usually does the trick, getting them to stagger immediately. Uh, so that's an, obviously a very nice way to open a fight. Um, but yeah, even then, uh, you know, things just went horribly wrong very shortly after that, for the most part. But I got him eventually, and uh, we did get this page and nail for it, and I have a terrible feeling <laughs> about what this might be, how you, how you might wear this. A single page of vellum and a small metal nail. As the stories go, the wearer of this token must sacrifice wisdom to gain knowledge by literally nailing this to his forehead. Might as well give it a try, right? Ouch. Where's the nail? Oh, I guess it, it is there at the top of the page. Cool. Yeah, um... Well, that's a neat piece of headgear. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, right. Uh, oh, also, I did go ahead and check on Hera's location again, and she is still there and says the same thing, so I don't know if that means her storyline is over, or if we are actually going to encounter her later somewhere. Also, uh, you know, succumb to the haze or something. She definitely seemed kind of close to to doing so, so who knows. Uh, the mirror gate waits. Oh, that's all you say now. I was wondering. I thought I had, hadn't talked to her in a while, and... Burns feels peaceful. That's really all you say, huh? Nothing else left to say, I suppose. No more hints to give, because there are no other areas to go to. I mean, it's weird, though. That in Inferian Chasm has been mentioned a bunch of times now. I wonder if that's... I mean, there is also place for another, you know, or rather room for another uh, entry in the list comfortably without scrolling, so that... It seems natural that there might be yet another one, but... Um, other than it being having been mentioned, nothing else points to uh, toward actually ever going there. But we'll see. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. For now, we have two ways to go technically, but uh, the one to the left here is the one that we've been we've had access to for longer, of course. Okay. Managed to run out of stamina, as you do. Citadel of Sky, alright, definitely sounds like another proper area. You are definitely I mean that guy absolutely looks like one of the one of those duo bosses, right? One of the two that remained. But I mean clearly he's not a an actual boss, or is he? I mean, not a proper one. Also, I guess he did die. Huh. 
most pure clusters. Okay, unfortunately of no use to us. What the heck? Hello there. Ah, okay. More enemies with uh, insects for heads. That's always nice. Okay, two shots with this weapon. I was... I also kept this equipped purposefully, by the way, even though it's slightly weaker. Well, not only because, you know, I feel like it would be a shame to not use it after upgrading it to this level. But also, because the other one is, um, or rather, this one is fire elemental, right? And uh, there was the Ember Sanctum with all those fire elemental and fire resistant enemies on the right side. And I figured enemies on this side were most likely not going to be fire elemental if there was a proper level. And, you know, um, with any luck, fire and or light might actually be good against them. So and it doesn't, it definitely seems like it's not ineffective. So there's that. Yep, okay. Definitely not a phoenix, but some sort of bird that uh, died pretty quickly to fire. Okay, what have we here? Ah, see this? This side does it right. <laughs> Gives us a nice early obelisk. That's appreciated. Oh, oh, well then. Glad I checked this out. So this is the other cops. Yeah, apparently. Not sure what you expected. I can't believe it's real. The legends were true all along. Thank you for finding the way here, Antantua. The central tower is where this all points. You must scale it and confront whatever is there. Alterstone Kingdom was so prosperous for a time, and King Elnor did no wrong. Hmm, if you say so. But the plague of magic spreads. Champion Hera has no idea, but Alterstone Kingdom has collapsed. Oh, really? We can rebuild, but not before this magic is purged. Uh, the king? Achievement unlocked? Alright. We haven't even talked to him yet. You've given so much to the Inquisition. It's only fair that I return the favor. Drink this elixir. It will reveal the truth. Divine Sight elixir. Uh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? I mean, I have no particular reason to distrust this guy. Other than... Well, I don't know. He looks kind of suspicious. King? I hear the gods. Okay... I hope King, El King Elnor can rest. The end is near. His end, or the end of all things? My end, perhaps? Maybe all those things. I guess if it's, if it's the end of all things, then that it does include both the king and me, so... Forget I asked. Uh, anyway, what did we get? Um, it is a consumable, of course. An elixir given to you by Arch Hierophant Anomolis. Anomalous. Anomaly? Anomalous? Hmm. He said it would reveal the truth. What does that mean? Alternate ending? I am not going to drink that. Right now. Or should I? I mean, I do back up my save files in between episodes just in case something goes wrong and I, you know, need to re-record for some reason. And obviously this being a game that auto-saves, I would otherwise just not be able to recover from, you know, for example, a recording issue, a corrupted video or something, something like that. So, uh, I could use that fact to, you know, potentially explore multiple different endings. Oh, um, okay, well. Okay, well. Well, I caught myself there. Once again. These airstreams are so precarious. Um, okay. Get some silver chunks there, I think. I was a little bit distracted by the enemy suddenly shooting me. Or did I? Wait. No, what did I get? <sighs> Crap. I thought I saw some white kind of items. Well, once again, I guess the video will have to tell me. Huh. I swear it looked like like some of these things. Hmm. No, I guess not. Not sure what I saw. All right. Well, I never trust those things. Uh, how do you like fiery daggers? Oh, not very much, it seems. Of course, we have more of those big guys. Obviously, what is this? No. 
Would this perhaps be where we see some sort of higher truth if we drink that truth elixir? Because this definitely does look important. I mean, we'll see if... Uh, we'll see how far I, the game lets me progress... Oh god. Without drinking that elixir. Okay, that big guy actually dies much easier than expected. I was also running myself out of stamina, which is always great. Apparently the bird is resistant to either fire or light, or both. But not a problem, because they're not that tough. I guess not fire. It doesn't look very fiery, also it's... Well, I guess it does take slightly reduced damage to, from fire, but not that bad. No, oh, okay. There's another one of those things in the background, so actually multiple. Never mind then, maybe that is just a random random icon, random item, background item. And not important at all. Um, okay. But thankfully. Uh, so I was my hunch was correct, and there is another I guess uh, another sealed door here. Uh, with a blue little gem, I suppose, instead of a red one. So sealed with the essence of ice, perhaps? which we'll end up finding over on this side. Of course, the question then remains whether you have to open both sides, or whether one is enough. But, um, well, we'll see how far we can get here. I was gonna say, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how far I can get without drinking the elixir, and if the game eventually forces me to drink it. Are you alive? No. Surprisingly not. Ashpear cluster, all right. Unfortunately, also not useful. Wait. Hold on. Um, unless... Was it actually Ashpear? Was it Ashpear or... Was it Golden Pear? I think it... It was Ashpear, wasn't it? Okay. It looked so golden. I, I read Ashpear, but I thought it was Golden Pear. I thought, you know, that's not useful, unfortunately. However, uh, we do need quite a few more uh, Ashpear clusters for our armor, so that's actually a great find. In fact, I hope the game realizes that there are quite a few items that one might potentially want to upgrade that require Ashbear and thus maybe hands out more of those than of the various elemental materials. Okay, yeah, this guy is um, resistant to fire, or I guess light, as I determined earlier. This guy is a little bit resistant to something. But not too bad. Okay, so we activated this, and that's just that literally just leads back down here, which I guess is kind of close to the checkpoint. Okay. That guy's gonna get up. Yep. A little bit brighter than the other ones. Okay. Three attacks are enough to kill that bird. Oops. Hmm. Oh, that was already enough. Oh, there is a grapple point. Sneaky, sneaky. However, doesn't open from that side. Fair enough. Does not seem like we can ever go up there unless we... I mean, I don't see a mechanism to uh, create a grappling hook, so I don't know. Please be the only enemy here. Oh, God. Any attack that just fills the screen with things that threaten to damage me <laughs> are just so so scary every single time. Okay. As are these things. Okay. Just need to trust. I mean, there's no no alternative, unfortunately. Just throw yourself into them and hope that the game's gonna be nice. What the hell? Oh, you are an enemy. And you deal a ton of damage. Um. Oh god. There's more than one. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Let's see. I never did continue up... Oh, pfft, never mind. Of, of course I did continue up that way. I was thinking of another ledge, I think. Yeah, yeah. There was the ledge above. Some sort of ledge above that... Uh, Ooh, I have no idea how you missed me, but uh, I'm glad you did. 
What's it over this way? Oh, um, that's unfortunate. This is all very unfortunate. Yikes. <laughs> I was... I didn't uh, see the enemy was about to get up by the by the ledge there. <laughs> um, that's why I didn't actually make the jump to the ledge, because he was blocking me. Okay, uh, okay, that <laughs> reached that far. Yeah, um... Hmm. I only wanted to double check up here. I know I don't need to go there for now. But that is the way... Wait, or did I ever check up there? Surely I must have. Over here, of course, over to the right is the... Uh, Maybe I didn't. No, I sure did. Yeah, of course I did. Okay, that's actually the way I needed to go. Um, <laughs> never mind then. I'm not that silly. Right, but there is something up here, except it's not unlocked for now. I don't know if I had seen this, but I had in the back of my mind that there was maybe something more up that way that I had not actually seen. Alright. Okay. Alright, okay. Moving on. Ah, the, uh, the shortcut is actually down there, that's right. Well then, I guess we drop back down and miss all the useful platforms. Don't mind me guys, I'm just, uh, I'm out of here. Okay, well that was uh, all kinds of awkward. Nope, turn around please, okay. <clears throat> Almost back to where we were. I guess I'll, uh... I guess I... It would have been enough to just shoot him once, to pull him over here. Because we know that this guy is actually by himself. Oh, um... I... Wow, that short uh, shockwave has never hit me before. Yeah, I also don't think that we need to deal with him at all. Because I doubt he's gonna jump up here. Okay. Um, can we hit you like that? Nope. Can we hit you like that? Can we hit you at all? Huh. Okay. Dealt with the bird. Are you just a trap? Uh, apparently. Doesn't seem like they are hittable at all. Ouch. They deal so much damage. Okay. I mean, thankfully they shoot very infrequently. Um, stupid bird, get out of here, please. And once they take aim, you know, you have some time to dodge out of the way. That was kind of close still. I'm gonna get up, yep. Of course there's another one of those. Wow, 26! Holy moly, they're taking... So much damage from that. Okay, is there a shortcut to unlock here? I guess not. Um, okay, can I please <laughs> jump up here? He was actually blocking me with his with his arms there. Wait. Um, can I? Is there a grappling hook? Wait. Um, what do I do here? Is this where I cannot proceed without drinking the elixir? Huh. I definitely cannot hit you. Okay. And I cannot get back up. <laughs> so that's kind of bad. Hmm. But over here was just a locked door. I don't think there was anywhere else to go up here. Was there? Oh, didn't quite. Oh, there's a freaking vent that I didn't see. Of course, I rolled perfectly with the projectile. It's, uh. Oh, it's not active now. Let's go up here. That might actually be bad. Except by rolling through, yeah, that should be fine. And it was. This looks suspicious. Probably just where we're gonna fight some sort of mage at some point. Okay, 
Thankfully, not quite at the end of the line yet. Hmm. Oh no, that is bad. Uh, just... Holy crap. Shooting me from off camera? What a jerk. It's not even fair. Ooh. Okay. Now that shortcut by itself, or that uh, zipline thing by itself, is not even not actually gonna help, is it? Wait, that's gonna lead into the doorway. Ah, I see. Okay, that's gonna help. But what's what's gonna help even more is this obelisk here. All right. Whew. Uh, I guess I'll rest and resupply. Yeah. I mean, down to four healing flasks. Okay. That tickled <laughs> a little bit. All right. Golden Mora. There it is. That's the final one for those. I guess I did not miss one then. I had a feeling like I might not have. Okay, let's see here. Ooh. I want to go up this way and we need to actually use that. Oh. In fact. In fact, um, we're kind of trapped here now. Yeah. Needed to turn around. God, this is kind of awful. <laughs> you just force attack that damage. I mean, thankfully it doesn't kill you, at least, but it's, uh, it's kind of mean. Okay, let's try that again. Grab that, turn around immediately. <gasps> and thankfully that uh, thing still worked, even though it was basically already disappearing while we were hanging on it. Okay. Surely that doesn't open from the side, right? Surely this must there must be an, a boss fight nearby. In fact, yeah, I just just as I said it, I noticed a statue. Interesting. I wonder. Huh. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't have an active heart box. It's interesting that you can actually see it from here. That's uh, an interesting looking thing. I'm guessing the fight is going to start literally the moment I climb up, right? The Icon of Pandemonium. Hello. An upside down face with a single eye on the forehead, you know. Nothing unusual to see here. Okay. What's that thing going to do? Okay, it's uh, similar to some sort of mage attack that we've seen at some point. Oh god, that's just an explosion, alright. What's this one gonna do? Okay. Bunch of... those kinds of things. Ooh, no, I was... getting myself caught in an attack animation. Okay. Once again, fiery daggers are just dealing so much damage. But I'm determined to kill him the proper way, you know. There we go. <laughs> Got a little bit close in the end there. Probably should have healed to play it safe, but... The Skylord achievement. Okay. It's not what he was called. Twin Ashper Golden Amulet. Why do I feel like this thing is... Oh, uh, not gonna be good. Well, because it isn't. Level 12. At least let him drop... Um, um, you know, artifacts of appropriate level for this late in the game. <sighs> oh well. Okay, Essence of Sky, there it is. Now, what's weird and interesting at the same time is that there is a door that does not open from this side. So what does that mean? Where could we possibly access that from? We have found the second key, of course, now to, to enter the cent the yeah the central tower, I guess. Uh, the bishop called it. He's not a bishop. I forget what his official designation was. Well, there is a way up from here, so I guess technically it could go up and around to the left and back down, I suppose. I mean, obviously, yeah, we'll go from ether vent to ether vent there. Now, we have 52,000 salt, which is, you know, a decent amount, but it's not even two levels worth at this point. Also, I don't particularly feel like climbing this tower again, so I'll continue exploring for sure. And the shortcut should probably help. 
What's this? Frostprint Brick. We don't need that for anything, unfortunately, but we might eventually. Um, huh. Wait. This is not somewhere we've been. Oh. It still isn't, though. Is it? Obviously not. Hmm. There's an ether vent there. I guess we just see it through through the foreground structure, even though it's obviously in a place that we've probably been to. Not a mimic. Huh, it's so weird that there were really just two of those total. Shimmering bud. That might be the final one. Or it might not be, who knows. Yeah, this should connect to where we've been to, right? Yeah, okay. That's it. Okay, that does help. That does help tremendously, actually. Getting up to this point wasn't that bad. And then we can use these pulleys to get back back up here if we ever need to again. I mean, I suppose there, if nothing else, there's going to be uh, a nameless Kinetomancer to hunt at some point. In fact, I definitely would not mind coming coming across the, uh, the summoning place for that hunt, just to get that out of the way. Okay, oof. How will we do that exactly? I guess I'll need to more confidently use the momentum. The, okay, yeah. Just never stop, I guess? Huh. Oh boy. Yeah, basically. Just use your initial boost. Once you stop, it seems like you're just not getting the same kind of momentum ever again. Mm, suspiciously wide open area again. But nothing here for now. Again, the the elixir might reveal something. Also, once again, the game is making me do a blind drop. I mean, it looks like there's ground not too far below here. Yeah. Okay. And ask and you shall receive. Indeed. All right. I mean, again, again, it was pretty obvious that there would be something useful here, right? So it's uh, not too bad, but it is a tier twenty. So that is definitely, definitely. Um, a little bit scary. I mean, once again, I'm not gonna hunt, start the hunt now because that's gonna make everything crawl with uh, terrible creatures. And that is the shortcut. Wait, no, that's not the shortcut. Hold on a second. I forgot about this door, or did I? Actually, no. Never mind. That is the one. Yeah, yeah. Of course, that's right before the boss fight. Okay, never mind. Never mind then. Okay, good. That's that mystery solved. Well then, uh, let's open the the other door here. The one sealed with the uh, essence of ice. I guess I'm gonna take a look at that. Also, double checking if we picked up anything else. Potential interest. Why would we though? I don't think we did. There it is. A cool blue substance of some exotic nature, rigid and icily smooth, yet. Altering shape in tremor-like waves. Okay. Also interesting. Right, and from here we can actually just... grapple straight across... to the sealed door. Like so. Imperfect Shrine. It's the same area, as expected. I'm gonna head down first, because I know that... Well... I know that there must be a shortcut somewhere, leading all the way back to the beginning of the area, and that feels like uh, it would be something you know, extremely useful to have. Oh! Hi. I saw you or someone very similar looking. Like, somewhere... Up and to the right? You tread on hallowed ground. Mustn't be here, must go. Would climb the imperfect shrine. Which is... <laughs> very slightly wobbling. That is... Oh, the entire... The, the entire text is okay. It's not just the imperfect shrine itself. This is... Oh, <laughs> kind of... Um, I don't know. Kind of wild. 
when you when you just focus on it. It's so subtle to almost, you know, that, that you almost or that I didn't even notice it at first. But once you notice it, it's uh, kind of unsettling. Anyway, destroy everything. Would climb the Imperial train, destroy everything. Well, I suppose that's the idea. Yeah. Prostrate, prostrate uh, gesture learned. Okay, he suffers atop the tower. Suffering is their currency. Refuse to give one and three. See their vengeance consume the world. The sacrifice suffers in your stead. They could not wrest the sacrifice from his perch. Long as he suffers, they cannot make you suffer in turn. The mages were born of their hatred. The spellmark, the haste burnt, they bring you here. You seek to climb the imperfect shrine, seek to end the suffering. But what will begin in its stead? This is not a place for you. Okay. Well, that is certainly ominous. But, I mean, it's too late to stop now. Also, are we literally here? Wow. I hear a heartbeat. There must be a mage nearby. Or not. Huh, maybe it was the one above I was hearing. Hmm, I suppose, since we just unlocked this shortcut, this extremely major shortcut, and it also definitely seems like a... Well, that's completely unrelated, but um, it, it definitely does seem like uh, both of those sealed doors just led to the central area directly, right? And to the same connected space. So you really only had to do one of the sides, huh? Which is, of course, not actually an option. Not for me anyway, but uh, oh, it's interesting for sure. Well, I mean, since we do have the shortcut, it would be silly not to return to camp now and level up one more time, you know. It's gonna help a little bit. Oh, um, one more importantly than that, I guess we'll find out if this is actually the final healing flask upgrade. First of all, this one. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Top shelf achievement. Okay, so 13 is the max number, which is kind of odd, but you know, why not? Well, no new herbs for us, I guess. I'm also gonna double check. Well, we're gonna purge this piece of crap. Things. Um. Oh, right, we did pick up Ashpear. Not an Ashpear brick yet. Unfortunately. Definitely would like to upgrade that weapon. But I can upgrade the armor further, and I will. Right. Now, who who's next? I guess. Oh, I'm actually looking for more trio. Forgot about that. Huh, I could upgrade the crown. I mean, it is the crown, let's see. Um, that would give us... I'm just looking at physical defense here. Plus 1.1. Whereas the boots give us plus more than that. So, yeah. They take priority for sure. And then, once again, it's another Ashbury cluster for the next upgrade. Yeah, for 2.8 more physical defense. So... Uh, Definitely seems to be worth it more. Well, two more Ashpear trios for well, a kind of kind of minor increase here, but uh, that should technically easy to, easy enough to get. Uh, I guess I could be on the lookout for uh, you know mages for fated mages that have a chance to drop Ashpear trio, and I should eventually get these two. But you know what is what difference is this one upgrade level on one piece of equipment actually gonna make? Not a big one. Right, level 125. And I have fully upgraded this Vitality node here, so we don't actually have access to... Oh, never mind. There's another one. I mean, at this point, I think I might as well go for some extra health, because, you know, everything is just hitting so hard. And look at my stats, actually. I mean, compared to my damaging stats, I've absolutely been neglecting Vitality, like, massively. So, that might might very well contribute to to my suffering on some of these uh, some of these uh, optional fights. Um, the official ones, obviously, yeah, I guess... Have I been... Have I actually not one-shot one of the story bosses? I have actually been killed by our friend, uh, the Scholar, once, but then I got him on second attempt, right? But all the all the non-mage story bosses, the last couple ones, I have I've either one-shot or killed pretty quickly without too much trouble. So the only thing that's really given me a lot of trouble lately have been those those very high level 
named uh, nameless mages rather, which you know, curiously enough, are quite a bit more dangerous than the named ones, which you would expect to be the tougher ones. But oh well, the nameless ones are obviously just optional extra challenges if you, you know, that you don't have to do. So I'm really not holding it against the game that I've been having a bit of a bad time with those, uh, because you know, I'm forcing myself to do them. There's absolutely no real reason to to do that. Um, so that's that's on me. Although some of their, or just, you know, the, the damage, just the sheer amount of damage they deal is, is uh, you know, definitely entering unfair territory, I would say, but, uh, well, I don't know, maybe you can be a lot more defensive than, than I've chosen to be. Um, but, well, either way, that's, uh, yeah, those are there, those, those are giving me trouble, but... Um, even even those story bosses. Well, I mean, the last one was 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 really close. So obviously, uh, I only survived that one with a lot of luck. I, uh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. So, long story short, it definitely doesn't hurt to have some extra health, just in case. Not that each point of vitality gives a lot, but you know, it it adds up. Now, still have quite a bit of time left to do so. Uh, left to left to record so. Why not take a closer look at that at that sanctum? Not sure if we're gonna climb it all the way to the top and see whoever is uh, sitting at the top suffering for our sins or something. I mean, I don't know. I've, I haven't really been trying to make sense of of what I've just been told story-wise. I mean. The rule of three, right? Uh, the gods demand one out of every three of everything as a sacrifice? Or something along those lines? Ouch. Um, <laughs> but... Who then would that one... The one sitting atop the tower and, and suffering in our stead... Who would that be? Or who are the other ones? Who are the other two? I don't know. Golden pin brick, alright. Unfortunately, not the type that I need. Really still waiting for that Void Pier. And of course, the Ash Pier. Oh, in fact, no, not Void Pier. Just Ash Pier. Yeah, because unfortunately, our weapon, despite being half Dark Elemental, takes uh, just the non elemental Ash Pier for its final level. Yeah. Anyway, okay, this is the other main entrance, of course. Alright. So here's where it connects. I believe this is where we came in from the other side. Yep. Oh, cannot make that jump. I mean, we might be really close here. In fact, who knows? This might not even be a like a proper level. Oh, um, okay, didn't fall. That's fine. Salt chunk. There is a shortcut to unlock, so I guess a little bit more exploration. Still lies in wait, lies in store for us. Rather. Oh. Is this going to use the same essence? Sure enough, essence of sky. Hmm, okay. Oh, we have to go that way. Didn't see that kick down ladder. Okay. Well, it turns out you actually did have to open both sides. So that's how they handled that. Fair enough. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure that no one just tries to make their way up here with only one of the essences. Which is fair enough, I suppose. And there's the other shortcut immediately. Hmm. And could that be... No, that's too small for a boss arena. Also, I really hope that they, despite all these shortcuts, that they're still going to provide a um, another save point, or, you know, a save point before the final boss. There's another one of you guys. The gods demand sacrifice. Their third, their due. This cannot be truncated. One believed he could end the cycle, become the sacrifice. Oh, okay. So someone... Should, should I know who... They were probably mentioned at some point. So, 
basically, rather than give a third of everything humans achieve and, and produce for all eternity to the gods, someone decided to end that cycle by becoming a permanent sacrifice? And... Or, or something? And by continually suffering? Maybe, maybe just literally someone who just... Um, literally someone who underwent the uh, the Mage Bane Rite and is literally immortal and just, you know, gets killed as a sacrifice, literally sacrificed um, again and again and just resurrects every single time. Thereby somehow eliminating the need for, for, for anything else to be sacrificed to the gods or something like that? Huh. Came from the mountains from Dreadstone Peak. Is it one of the ones who embarked, actually? Or who else could it be? Became a vessel for the gods' wrath, overflowed, spilled, and that's how the corrupting magic f overflowed into the world? Arrogant, a mortal against the gods. Well, I mean, it's worked in the past. What is that? Oh, that's just one of the, out the, the shortcuts outside that I saw there. And another one. There is a husk atop this place, mortal. A mortal like you, a sylvan from the mountains. Hmm. The shrine has a purpose, and his will was to subvert it, to be a levy, steadfast against the waters of divine judgment. What mind this mortal possessed was destroyed long ago, scattered like ashes, scattered by the gods. When the mind broke, so too did, he, did the levy. The levy broke, and the flood consumed all. Hmm. Okay. I never trust any of these open open spaces. Okay. Well. So far so good. We know there is another one of these weird hooded figures all the way on the top right most corner that was I almost did not remember the correct key in time uh, button that is yeah so basically up this way there should be another one of those guys can you please make make these easy jumps thank you there it is okay in a way that's scary because that means there's you know something kind of nearby whatever it is there he is okay the one at the top of the imperfect shrine is only a husk but he now serves a purpose from the ruins of his mind, a madness swells, spreading like miasma through the kingdom. Those who listen hear the whispers, but the voices are not his. Many are tempted, many seek power. They follow the whispers, and their greed transforms them. And so mortals became vessels of divine wrath. Mages. Okay, yeah. When you reach the top of the imperfect shrine, what will you do? Cut down the suffering sacrifice? And then what? <laughs> I don't know. Challenge the gods themselves to kill them? So... You, to to end the that cycle of suffering permanently this time around, become the new suffer uh, the, the the new sacrifice perhaps, one that is still strong and is not gonna spill, and is gonna contain the the god's wrath and the magic. Hmm, it's probably gonna be at least one of the possibilities, right? That's what it's gonna come down to. The gods demand sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I mean, I think I get it. Okay, this, I mean, this looks pretty final. It's also become entirely quiet. Okay, well, it's back to not being completely quiet. Just some extra materials to farm, I suppose, every time you die. That's nice. Maybe, I mean, I have not been using these, <laughs> these things a lot. Longest time decoction. I mean, I suppose that just puts, you know, sets things on fire, which we have our knives for, which are probably better at it. Um, I'm gonna equip this radiant decoction just because it's, you know, basically the final one we got, alongside the, f no, not frostbane. Which one was it? Wasn't there? Oh, umbral. Yeah, I think these were the two last ones we we ever unlocked, right? Although this one is uh, further down the list, basically, so maybe not. Um, adding the last one, containing a decoction brew from, uh... Okay. 
dealing cold damage. Right. That's, this explodes in a... For light damage, this... Explodes for dark damage. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll give this a try. The game gives us refills for this type of material here. And, you know... Maybe these are actually not all equally strong. Although they probably are. And the only difference is the... Uh, Varying elements. Okay, well, there is a statue. I didn't see that at first, but yeah. Obviously. This is gonna be a boss fight. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is one of the ones that embarked. So, not someone we know. <laughs> it's a ruined tomb of fates. Well, there's that. Hmm. I mean, I didn't hunt the final mage, uh, the final nameless mage. Um, but I guess I can always, if whatever I do here leads to me just ending the game and, you know, and then that's that. Credits roll and uh, I'm forced into new game plus or, well, the game just ends. I can always reload my, uh, my backed up save file and try more things, right? Including hunting the final, the final uh, nameless mage just for my own personal satisfaction. And of course, I never drank that elixir, uh, and, uh, you know, at this point I'm not going to. We'll just do something here, we'll see. The Undone Sacrifice. I guess we... it has become, or he has become, mindless, as we've been told. Okay, not dealing a ton of damage here. It's not great. So he's definitely resistant to at least one of our damage types. I guess I'll try the other one. The other weapon that is... well, okay, I did realize I have been caught in a sort of grab there. That's, uh, that was a sprinting attack for a 79. Okay. Okay, yep. He always turns around, or enemies always turn around and, oh! At some point in their attack combos. Okay. Just gonna sprout those things. Yep. Well, give me time to heal, please. Thank you. Oh, I... once again. I thought I still had time to roll, but for that attack you obviously have to roll a little bit earlier than it seems natural to me. I'd like to hit him with some fire damage. Okay. Yeah, it seems to work again. Too late. Okay. It's not super fast. Oh. <laughs> of course. The moment I say that. He actually hits me. Yeah, he's not super fast, so technically his attacks are very dodgeable. Yeah, especially that one. Uh-oh. Oh god. <laughs> I just stopped and, and started healing. Even though I was not sure if I... if he would stop sprouting those things in time. He did, okay. I haven't seen those in a while. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 of course. He was gonna do these. Just roll out of the way. Whew. Heal. No problem. Dodge. Oh god. No! Okay, don't. Don't throw now. Dodge! <laughs> A little bit late. Come on. Oh, okay. Didn't think that he was gonna be uh, devourable, but there we go. <sighs> yeah, I almost, <laughs> I almost lost my nerves toward the end there. Uh, well, we did not actually devour his heart. I guess by virtue of him not having one. I cannot look around. By the way, camera's fixed here. Uh, let me just quickly look at this, because why not? Whew, offensive artifact level 12, really? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're not done here, are we? Oh, wait. Or is this just going to be the 
the Dark Souls choice what to do. Climb, devour, or do nothing. I wonder, what happens if I leave the game now? Surely the boss will stay defeated, right? I'm very tempted to just back up this particular save file here. So I can potentially try both of these options without having to rebeat the game. Not that I'm completely against that idea, but I mean, I'm not going to do it immediately. I don't see myself really playing through the entire game again anytime soon, really. So, you know, obviously, I've played this very thoroughly and spent quite a bit of time with it, so... I mean, what would happen? I'm, I'm expecting Climb uh, to result in me becoming the new sacrifice, right? I'm going to chain myself to the tree and it's I'm going to perpetuate the cycle, basically, light the flame, uh, to stay in Dark Souls uh, terminology here. Whereas Devour, I guess, means that I devour this tree thing? I'm not sure what I'm going to devour. Uh, and that's gonna, yeah, I don't know, challenge the gods and maybe lead to to the real final boss? Because this some, seemed kind of anticlimactic, to be honest. You know. Hmm. I'm curious. I mean, if nothing else, I'm curious what's gonna happen. Progress will be saved, yeah. I think so. No, not, not new game. Continue. Where's this gonna put me? Back in camp, okay. Huh. Well. I guess since there are some things, you know, remaining to be done. The final mage hunt, which I might or might not do on camera, actually, considering the my experience with the last couple of super high-level ones. Do you have anything to say now? Is that the Cerulean Tomb of Fates? Oh, yeah, right, that one. Uh, you not only found the Elder Cops, but you've discovered the deepest its deepest secrets. The threads of the fate of mages, the threads of fate, the mages, their walk shall soon be severed. Let's see. Temple of Emerald, Bibliomancer 15. Ugh. Neuromancer 13. Okay. Really, that's it? Not a whole lot. But okay. Yeah, we have this guy. Right. Um, and then there's the elixir, of course. Uh, although I might have to. Well, I suppose, since this does put me outside the boss fight. Um, boss fight area. I still have a chance to drink it. Of course, I don't know if that, if, if it does anything now. Maybe it was never a trap to begin with. Maybe it's it would have helped me or something. Or, well, obviously I don't know. For now, I just want to quickly check what exactly is going to happen up there. Is the boss going to be back? If I have to refight him, I suppose. Fair enough. I guess that's on me then for <laughs> insisting on trying to, uh, to cheat. I also want to see just how annoying, exactly how annoying the climb back up is going to be. I mean, it's pretty long, but there are obviously really aren't any enemies, except for this one random mage here, which is kind of weird, but okay. I guess, wait, yeah, go up this way, right, there's this ladder that we kicked down, so that helps. this way? Yeah, we'll have to eventually go up those stairs outside. Might as well grab this. Okay, fine. I'm gonna do a wall jump if you let me. Okay, I guess we're wrapping around at least one more time. Yeah, it's still a bit of a climb, but, you know, obviously it's... Without any enemies, it's not that bad. Okay, this one. This is the one precarious spot. The one that does really not feel very good. Save here just in case. <clears throat> in fact, if it turns out that I do have to refight the boss. Okay, these guys are gone, apparently. Didn't notice that before. He's back, really. Okay, that's, that's kind of mean, but also kind of understandable, I suppose. In that case. Well, in that case, uh, hold on just a moment while I 
back up my save file right now. That should be fine, I guess. And that should be put should put me, you know, basically before the boss fight again. So I guess I'll have to potentially beat it at least, you know, three times total to experience everything. But oh well. I guess I could have just backed up my save file before, huh? Without quitting out of here. Yeah, that would have been the smarter thing to just try that, I guess. But oh well. I'm not always smart. Not always. Usually, but not always. Okay, I'm gonna risk <laughs> resuming recording now. I mean, it's literally one more hit. Uh, come on, there we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, first attempt, by the way. So, or, you know, first attempt for the second kill, that is. So it's two for two. <laughs> I guess I did get a second idol out of it. Awesome, just as good as the first. Uh, actually, it's worse, though, I think. Anyway, um, well, let's see. I guess I'll do the one that seems like it's just going to lead to the bad ending. If it is the bad ending, even. I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll see if this even does what I think it does. The sacrifice. Yeah, okay. All right. Make the climb achievement. All right. So I guess this is not... This was not the original plan, right? We were supposed to just... Well, I guess, I don't know. What were we supposed to do? No one really ever told us. Also, there are definitely, like... Yeah, those are figures. With glowy... With a single glowy eye. Shadowy figures in the night sky. Interesting. The Lord Studios, yes. <laughs> just two people. And Sky Studios is literally just one person. It's amazing. I mean, for all the small annoyances with this game, you have to keep in mind this, you know, there are so many, so so few people just, just working on this, or who have worked on this. It's amazing that they made such a, such a huge, complex, and, you know, for the most part, just a fantastic game in the first place. Um, so, yeah. I mean, while, while just reading up various things about the game, I just saw a bunch of, you know, a lot of criticism, which for the most part I, I don't share. You know, yeah, some, some fights can be a little bit uh, unfair, and I've definitely been kicked off platforms and, and died to gravity a few too many times. So you know, those are things that could maybe uh, could could be worked on perhaps. But for the most part, I enjoyed this a lot. Now that being said. Um, I'm not quite done with this, of course. So this was one ending. And since this basically makes for a perfect uh, episode length, I'm just going to leave it at this. Well, I'm going to let the credits roll. Um, I don't want to accidentally skip anything. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a speed up option, which I you know, would appreciate. Although I'm not expecting this to keep going for much longer. In memory of. Oh. I hope this list isn't too long. Okay. Thankfully it isn't, I guess. Dev pets, of course, that's important. Diego, Momo, Neko. Oh. Huh. I'm moving some sort of menu in the background. <laughs> I'm hearing the sounds. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, as I was saying, um, I'm gonna end this episode after the credits. Oh, thank you, Ska Studios and uh, Devoured Studios for, for making. I had fun for 99.9% .9 of the game, you know. And the 1.1% the point where I didn't was, you know, insisting on defeating those, uh, those couple of nameless mages and, you know, that's basically it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I guess, um, one more thing, perhaps? Oh, New Game Plus. Well, Venture forth. Uh, does it always say that? I think so. I mean, it does say New Game Plus, so I guess, yeah. We literally start back here. Huh. And we never had a chance to fight the the Inferian Demon again. Or go to the Inferian Chasm, for that matter. Yeah, okay. Huh. We're back to five flasks, it seems like. Yep. Wait, no, they are fully upgraded, so I guess... At least it displaced them as being 
on their last achieved upgrade level. <laughs> Interestingly, that I start with the blindfold back, back on. Okay, well, we're obviously at our level. We seem to have all of our equipment, so that's neat. Um, just a quick check, I suppose, if there's anything obviously different. But, um, yeah, as I said, I there are a couple of things that I obviously want to explore. So, yes. Okay, I mean, yeah, this all looks very, very standard. Very much like the original new game. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that they skipped the tutorial area uh, without giving me another chance at that uh, Inferian Demon, which, you know, now, with actual healing items and better equipment, I might have had a, a chance against. I mean, there must be a way to, to fight that thing, right? I mean, it's, it has its own bestiary entry and everything. Um, I forget where it was, but it's in here somewhere. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, it would be very unsatisfying and, and also, you know, very... I don't know. It, it would be weird to, to create that, that boss fight, obviously, with graphics and scripts and everything, and then only use it once in the tutorial to one-shot a new player within the first five seconds of seeing them, um, and then never appear again, right? So that, w that would just be a waste of resources. So obviously they put it into the game to, to fight for real somewhere. So um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll actually encounter him when I choose the correct option at the end game, which of course requires me to uh, restore my save file backup and defeat that, uh, that sacrifice a third time. But before I do that, I suppose I'm going to uh, try the elixir. And I'm also going to obviously throw myself against that uh, tier 20 Kinetomancer a couple of times, however many times it takes, just because, obviously, we've defeated every single one, or I've defeated every every single other one, so it would be really silly not to. Um, it's also weird... Okay. I swear I'm going to end this soon. Um, oh, our tent is not actually open. Huh. But we have the trophy, so is she going to unlock that for us immediately? Maybe I need to talk to the rune reader first. That's an open from the side. Come on, man. I'm just trying to get a few quick things out of the way here. Well, I guess it doesn't take that long. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Travel to Ashbourne Village. Yeah, I mean, do I need to, though? Okay. So, what do I even want to confirm? Uh, the thing is, I looked at my trophy collection in, in my tent, and it seemed like there was at least one um, one area obviously still blank. I also didn't get an achievement for hunting all the mages, which I, you know, this game has really uh, pretty, pretty consistently given me achievements for all the things that you would expect, right? And obviously, hunting one of every type of mage is a very obvious one. Oh, right. So, uh, the fact that I haven't gotten that, uh, really... Okay, never mind. I thought uh, the thing that triggered her giving you the key to the tent was just having at least one trophy. I should still have them, right? Unless my... Yeah, no, definitely do have them. Okay, well, I can't show you now, but there was uh, definitely at least one, or exactly one spot that looked like those other spots that was not taken up by any trophy. So, yeah. Um, leading me to believe that there might still be one extra bonus kind of mage to hunt. Unless... Um, okay, I'm grasping, grasping at straws here. Also, um, making this episode unnecessarily long, but um, just double-checking. I mean, technically, um, our friend who turned, you know, turned into a mage in front of our eyes, basically. Well, he was a mage, right? But I don't think he dropped any special materials, obviously. He dropped a set, and that's it. So I don't. I have no reason to assume that there won't be anything new here in the list, including a new trophy. And uh, it doesn't seem like it. I didn't see anything new there. So, yeah. Don't know about that, huh? But it might just be a matter of us having not having uh, achieved the the proper ending, I suppose. Although I mean, it did count as a as an ending uh, for the purposes of getting us into New Game Plus. So I don't know. Maybe there isn't a like. Uh, a hidden extra boss fight for choosing the other option, and it's just literally a slightly different ending. Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna find out next time. So, um, the next episode is most likely gonna be the final one, unless 
it turns out that there is a, a whole, you know, extra endgame area. Um, I really do wonder about the Inferian Warden and the Inferian Chasm in total, in general. You know, that might be a case of uh, of there, you know, being a hidden rune password leading to that area. Um, and I might actually go ahead and just look for that kind of information, which, uh, you know, if it's something that major, it should be should be there, even if there isn't, if this game isn't particularly well documented. So, uh, yeah, depending on how much what I find out and how much there might how much more there might be to do. Um, and if, you know, if I can easily do it, then that uh, next episode might be very short or pretty long. We'll see. Might also not be the, the final one, but I'm expecting it to be, honestly. I think there are really only a couple of loose ends to, to tie up. And um, yeah, maybe it's just going to be a short bonus episode. You will see. Um, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.